Uh huh. I was just thinking I was going to run and go get some props because I brought them up uh, from the room. And I, uh-huh. I looked and I was like, I thought I brought them there sitting on my desk. <laughs> mm. But mm. boom. You got, you got the shirt. I got, yeah, the shirt. You got your Star Wars shirt. Uh, so this is a long time coming. Leroy has been telling me to watch this for a minute. And I don't really pay attention to Leroy because uh, obviously I think so little of him that that's I didn't why, care. That's why that's why his life is always in shambles because he's always come to me like, "Hey, man, this happened to me today," and I'm like, "Michael, you should have listened to me." I'm trying to. Help <laughs> yeah, you. that's exactly what it is. Yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are finally reviewing Star Wars Tales. Was it Tales of the Jedi? Tales of the Jedi. Tales of the Jedi, six episode miniseries. Yep. From your boy Dave Filoni, aka George Lucas 2.0. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> interesting little. This this came out what this year earlier last year came, came out this year came out came, came out this year this year okay yep um I mean where where you want to start with it so here's my here's my question mm-hmm. what made you because you decided so, to finally watch it what what hold on I'm trying to, I'm trying to phrase this correctly okay. You watched it. You did the six episodes. Um, what do you think about the prequels now after watching this? I don't know. One argument that I always hear is that, oh, seeing this new supplemental material during the prequel times makes the prequels better. I don't know that I buy that. I will say that this new supplemental supplemental material is good. I think Tales of the Jedi was fantastic. Um, I don't think and, I don't. And, I don't know that it strengthens the prequels. I don't think it strengthens them. I think it. I think they. I think that it's a better understanding. Does that make sense mm-hmm. for me? I think if you watch the the Tales of the Jedi Clone Wars. I think gives a better understanding of what happened and why these characters, their motivations, like what, what took place to me, that's what I got from tales of the Jedi. Um, and mm-hmm. that's why I was wondering for you because you have always, you've been very critical and, and, and rightfully so I'm not going to tell you that, that you shouldn't be, but I wonder did the, did this help fill in some of the gaps or make you say, or does it make you want to go back and watch some of the prequels now that you've seen this and then watch it and say, okay, now I get why that character acted this way or why we didn't see, and then make you say, okay, we should have seen more of that if this is the oh, character. N- no, seeing this stuff now, it's like, this is good, but it, it doesn't make me want to go back and okay. watch the George Lucas movies. Okay, just, because just check it. I, I feel like it's a, it's a different hand of the creator. It's a different, you know, director and the mm-hmm. author is, a, you know, they have a different intent. I feel like, if anything, I feel like what Dave Filoni, Dave Filoni, mm-hmm. Dave, Dave Filoni, Dave <laughs> um, what he and like John Favreau and those people when they're doing this kind of stuff have done a masterful job of taking elements from the prequel material and finding a way to build on it. Because mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know that the prequels really help, but I'm like, okay, we can flesh your story out more and I can just stick with the new, the new material that's being created as opposed to okay. episodes one, two, and three. Okay, so what? It, so with that being said, what did you think of Tales of the Jedi? I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it, it. So I had this whole week off from work, and I've been doing a bunch of different random stuff. And last night or two nights ago, I decided to finish up Andor because, again, that was something else I hadn't finished just because I got behind. I was on episode seven or eight. Something else came mm-hmm. up, and I just never went back to it. So I finished that. And on Disney+, Plus, the, the, <clears throat> beauty, the beauty of uh, streaming and synergy – they said, hey, you finished Andor. You should watch this. <laughs> and Tales of the Jedi popped up. I was like, oh, you know what? I haven't seen it. Let's start watching it. Um, so I actually watched it with my youngest niece, who I was babysitting at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and we watched like six episodes like it was nothing because they, they're very quick. They're probably like 20 minutes a piece or whatever. They, they do a good job of telling a lot of story within that time. And I got to learn more about Ahsoka and more about Count Dooku. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I really like it's it's funny because I, I felt like I learned so much more about Count Dooku in these little 20 minute vignettes, 20 minute episodes, six, you know, the six mm-hmm. episodes total 
than I did in the movies. Even though there's, you know, the movies are, you know, longer mm -hmm. uh, minute wise than the the six the six episodes were. Interesting. Okay. I, you know what? Yeah. I, that, that makes sense. I, I'll give you that. I, I, that 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 attracts. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I don't I don't even know where to begin on this because we're so behind on it again because of me. But I don't I don't know where you want to start with uh, talking about Tales of the Jedi. Oh, we can start wherever. Um, I'm like it's. I, it, for me, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I didn't, as an Ahsoka fan, she's one of my favorite Star Wars characters. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't need the Ahsoka part. I'm glad we got mm -hmm. it. I didn't need mm -hmm. it. I needed that Count Dooku. To mm -hmm. me, the, the, count, the way they fleshed out Count Dooku is where it shined. Like, don't get me wrong, that like I love the, the, the episodes, Ahsoka's episodes. I think her last two were the stronger than, than sure. the first one. Um, although I thought the first one was cute. I, I thought if you're going to introduce someone they did a they to me they did ahead. a good job of because <clears throat> we know this is a prequel, and we kind of talk about this all the time. The the issue with prequel content is that where you kind of know where these characters are gonna end up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like, well, you know, Ahsoka's not going to die like this. Yeah. Uh, spoiler, you know, let's go ahead and switch to Orange Okay. for this. But uh, I mean, we're, we're, it's, it's been out before, for so long. Before you switch, uh, switch to Orange. Four out of five Two. lightsabers. Okay. Four out of five. Um, here's the part where we switch over to um, uh, spoilers. But if you don't want to hear the spoilers, like, comment, and subscribe. Go watch it. Come back. Um, let us know what you think. Um, because I really like, I really want to talk to more people about this. So, um, mm -hmm. so if, again, this we're about to go into spoilers. Uh, if you like what we do, don't like what you what we do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us. I mean, we might get better. Yeah, we might not. <laughs> we might not. But you can know your comments were listened by at least one of us. Oh, I definitely read them. I always respond. <clears throat> yeah, they they were they were somebody read them at least once. Um, yeah. So. Um, I thought the tiger thing was interesting because I'm like, well, mm -hmm. the tiger's definitely not going to kill the baby, but oh, I wonder, is the mom going to get injured or whatever or something? Mm -hmm. Is that going to lead to something else? Um, I thought all that was great. Mm -hmm. And I thought they did a great job of setting up that she's force sensitive and that she's a Jedi uh, in a better way mm -hmm. than George Lucas talked about midichlorians and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> just the fact that she had that she had this bond with the tiger and they do a great uh, cutaway shot, so close-up shots so of between the eyes of uh, both her and the tiger. And I'm like, okay, I, I get it. This is cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, so because at one point I thought, oh, is it going to be like a, a baby's day out adventure where like the tiger just becomes playful? No, the tiger's still serious, but the tiger just respects the power in her. I was like, okay, yeah, I'm good. Um, I, so for me, I thought, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought that was the weakest episode too. Um, okay. I thought the first episode with Ahsoka is the weakest. And that's one of my favorite characters. I own every black series Ahsoka. Um, <clears throat> that's my favorite. That is my favorite coming up. I mean, right now, we'll get to Andor, but she is, Ahsoka is one of my favorites. But um, mm -hmm. I did not need Ahsoka. I know. Count Dooku's motivation because they never really did a good job of explaining how Count Dooku could be one of the best of us, disappeared, and then came back as a Sith Lord. And I think these three uh -huh. episodes did such a good job and also highlighting the way the council, the Jedi Council, was more politics sure. than the movies did. And now that's why, and so does this make you now want to watch Clone Wars? Because what you got here is what the Clone Wars, the animated series has done for, for, for that yes. time. Yes and no. The issue with me with Clone Wars is, and I get people say it gets better, and it does get better, but it it's does. just that first season. That first I, season for some is, reason, it's tough it's, it's slow. <laughs> it's tough sledding. <laughs> but you, but you, you kind of need that to build up on the history, the history pond stuff as you get into more and more seasons. And I just got to be in the right mood for that. And it's tough, like schedule wise, you know, when I get home after driving for like an hour and change, I don't, I don't want to 
necessarily tune in like I need to to really pay attention. It's easier yeah, for me to, to put on a game and kind of go on autopilot than, than oh, yeah. paying attention to a TV show. I understand. And that's six so years it's, of it's just, it's just, Yeah. Maybe I'll do it the next time I'm off for a week, which hopefully mm-hmm. should be this month. I think I got another week off coming soon. So maybe I'll, that's Ooh. when I'll, you know, burn through all that stuff. Hey man, you, you do that and I'll do it with you. I'll, I'll okay. watch, I'll watch it out. Cause I love this. I love the Clone Wars. Um, it, to mm-hmm. me, it is, it is the best thing. It is one of the best things outside of the original trilogy next to that's Rogue, what I hear for me next to Rogue One. Um, okay. I, I, so for me, I the, get into spoilers. We see, we start with Ahsoka, then we switch from Ahsoka being a, a toddler, and then we switch to du- Dooku uh, <clears throat> with his Padawan dealing with Qui-Gon. D- see Qui-Gon dealing yeah, with yeah, that was cool. Um, kind of, it was kind of like a Western almost. It had that Western mm-hmm. feel. Um, the last <clears throat> stand, we're not you're not going to be able to come through here. Yeah, and so. You got to see, and again, I, I say this: Clone Wars does a very good job of showing the other parts of the galaxy, even though it's about the Jedi. You do get to see how they interact with common folk, what people think of the Jedi, how how they are viewed, and it was very mm-hmm. interesting to see them viewed as puppets and not as protectors. It was very interesting sure. to see people see them. And not a positive light. <clears throat> and Dooku took that. He understood more. And you could see the frustration he had with the way things were. So you could see him going down that path. And you mm-hmm. understood why he could end up as Palpatine's number two. Um, I thought that was very yeah. interesting. Uh, poor Yaddle. Um, we don't get really a lot of time with Yaddle. Yaddle, yeah, she was holding her own for a little bit. She tried, Man. but it was too much. Um, I was not expecting Yaddle to go down like that. Um, but I mean, yeah, I kind of expected her to die. I, I, okay. didn't, I didn't expect her to get to, to go to ride off into the sunset. I, I knew that wasn't going to be her. I knew mm-hmm. that wasn't going to be her. That wasn't going to be her story. I knew that she was going to die. I I felt like she was going to die. Um, I really appreciated. Here's the thing that I think that the the prequels did not do a good job of, that this did. Um, I know a lot of people, we talked about Samuel L. Jackson and his age and, you know, him being an icon and everything. I think the prequels do a better job well, the, the Clone Wars do a better job of showing the prequels that maybe Samuel L. Jackson's character was kind of a tool hmm. in the sense of keeping the keep Dooku did a good job and they did a good job of showing Dooku because in episode the, ep- the episode that meant a lot to me. So Justice is the first one we get. Um, choices. That's the one that I thought was very, very well done because Dooku was the one who pushed and pushed to find out what really happened. Whereas... Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Mace was kind of like, yeah, whatever. And he, and, and not he, even, I won't say I won't say whatever, but he he was not. He he did not. He he didn't. They would not have found what they found if it had if Mace had been on if he'd have been in charge and he had not. Sure. If he had just done what he wanted to do, they would have not gotten to the bottom of this. And I think that yeah. was interesting that they showed that, but also the knife got dug in a little bit at the end when that seat came open. And who ended up on the council? And I thought there were nice little parallels between Dooku mm-hmm. not being on the council. Seat was open, and Anakin not being granted Jedi Master. We grant you the title of Jedi, yeah. but we don't grant you the title of Jedi Master. And who it was who said it to him? 
I think that right. was interesting. Yeah. I thought those were some interesting parallels. And it was one of those things where you saw Dooku not playing the politics. And I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah, the, uh, the show did a good job of definitely making you sympathize more with Dooku than the movies did, for sure. Yes. He's like, this old man is just like, yeah, you you say the Jedi are wrong, but you don't really say why. Like, why do I care what you're saying, old white? Mm -hmm. And now um, but this that, just did a better job. Because because you side with, because these are the heroes. Mm -hmm. the, the the MCU has this problem. Um, Star Wars is Star Wars is 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 doing better now with not necessarily making your villains sympathetic, but showing that your villains, you're a villain in somebody's story, and right. showing the different sides of somebody. Um, I'm having a debate right now with a friend of mine where he's like, I'm like, this person's a trash human. And he's like, I don't think anybody's a trash human. And I'm like, mm, I disagree. There may be, somebody may be good to another person, but the, sure. we're, we're not all, we're not all one thing. Mm -hmm. And I would argue Dooku shows that he, he is the villain in somebody else's story, but there was a reason for that. And right at the end of the day, I do believe he's a trash human, <laughs> but there's a reason for that, for how he gets there. And I think we yeah. just showed up in the prequels, Dooku's trash human, he's the bad guy, let's move on. And I think that mm -hmm. black and white way of looking at things in this show. I agree with that. Uh, anything that didn't work for you aside from like that first episode? episode oh, no. Everything worked for me. I thought Ahsoka's last two episodes. So if you like those last two epi uh, Ahsoka episodes, that's what the final season is more of. <clears throat> okay. Kind of like that. Because so. One thing I thought was funny was uh, Senator Bail Organa talking with Ahsoka when we see Padme die, mm -hmm. uh, the funeral procession. And then he somehow escorts her to, she tries to get back to her ship and two stormtroopers see Organa uh, in some restricted area. And he does he does a thing, a classic thing in TV or movies where you're talking to somebody, or really you're talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I thought it was funny. Like just the way he's talking, I feel like these stormtroopers should be like, why are you talking like this? It seems weird, the stuff that you're saying. Like, why, if, if we need you, sir, we don't need you. We don't, yeah, whatever. We don't know yeah. who you are, but it was, it was funny. S small thing aside, but whatever. But I, I do think they knew who he was. Did they? They said they needed his identification. I do identification. think they knew who he was. I th well, at, at, once they got his identification, it's like, oh, you're a senator, and they and they 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 were respectful of him to a certain point, a certain point. But mm -hmm. they were like, hey, man, you can't be here. You know, you need to ride out. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I thought Ahsoka's last two episodes, um, practice makes perfect. So that episode is. So they start at the beginning when she snips and Anakin is like, oh, it's easy what you were doing before. Let me show you if you. This is really, life or death stuff. Yeah. And so so then you see what she went through. She gets through it and then it ends and then it fast forwards to the final season of and that like that hit me in the like that hit me in the chest because those stormtroopers for mm -hmm. people who know who watched the final season that was her battalion so in the final season when they go the siege of mandalore when they're fighting when order 66 comes through so ahsoka leaves the jedi council she comes back when she comes back those stormtroopers paint their helmets with the soga's logo and then mm -hmm. order 66 happens and basically all of the stormtroopers that were her Joey, um, or not Joey, Jesse, all of the stormtroopers that were her ride or die, who you know, who were there for, turned on her. And so she has to fight through them to get away. And it's her mm -hmm. and Rex. And she tells Rex, we're keep it on stun. We're not gonna cut down our brothers, basically. And that, like, whoo. And that's so that fast forward to that part where you're like, that's how she was able to survive. Basically getting through.
uh, an entire Star Destroyer that is actively trying to kill her and Rex. That was a big moment. Um, I thought another big moment was the last episode, which was called Resolve, where you saw the Inquisitor. Um, Get manhandled. Well, not just manhandled, but also how she left the Jedi Order. And this is when, so you talked about Bail Organo telling her, hey, and then her like at the end of it, that episode ties into her novel, Ahsoka. Because in Ahsoka, she leaves and then she goes to a planet she's hiding out. And then Ahsoka's like that part after the Siege of Mandalore to where she comes back. And then as she comes back, and this is when she shows up in Rebels. Um, So I thought this episode was really good because I thought the synergy that they were doing between having Ahsoka be in the final season of Clone Wars, the Siege of Mandalore, then after she leaves, then coming back to aid the rebellion or what would be the rebellion. I thought that was really good. Um, To me, I give this series this little thing of five out of five. Um, I, I, okay. I personally think this is one of, this is when Star Wars is at its best. Little when things not like dealing this. with the Skywalkers. I, but you know what? You are dealing with the Skywalkers to a certain extent because you now get to see, because here's the thing, and Dave Filoni talks about this, the reason why the Duel of Fates and the Phantom Menace is so important because Qui-Gon dying and being murdered by the Sith Lord that is Maul. The Duel of Fates is basically, it's not necessarily, it, it, it's the duel between Maul and Qui-Gon, but it's really the duel of who is going to teach Anakin. Because I'm not knocking Obi-Wan, but Obi-Wan wasn't equipped to raise a child no no no. qui-gon was Mm -hmm. and i think qui-gon being killed caused put anakin further behind the eight ball to become a better man because obi-wan they were because obi-wan says it we were like brothers Whereas, yeah, not father and son. There you, and so Qui-Gon, yeah. so you see that relationship with Qui-Gon and Dooku that you didn't get to have with Qui-Gon. And it fills in those gaps of why Dooku turning was so detrimental. Because with, with Qui-Gon not having that person to be able to talk to and then Qui-Gon not being, and Dooku not being able to tell him because of what happened. All of that, like that chain reaction is what gave gave us Darth Vader. And you see it more so, like you see the through line of why this little boy ended up being the worst thing in the universe, one of the worst things the universe, the galaxy had ever seen. I thought that was very, when you see it, that's why I said, this is when Star Wars is at its best because it makes things make more sense. Mm-hmm. There we go. Uh, great powerful note to end on. Thank you, Mr. Green, for that. As I pop this stuff up here, like, comment, subscribe to hear more of Leroy's thoughts on little boys. Um, no re- <laughs> Your reaction is delayed on my end, so I was waiting for that. To, I was waiting for that to happen. But uh, no, for to hear uh, Leroy wax poetic about the awesomeness of Star Wars and the Skywalker saga and beyond, always know when we put up new videos, like, comment, subscribe. You can follow us on YouTube and Facebook at We Tryin'. You can also use the handle We Tryin' Y'all for Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and the recently added Hive, where mm-hmm. you will be able to see our new uh, escapades whenever Hive decides to act right. But uh, until next time, we'll be back with more videos, probably more timely videos. We will have an Andor review eventually, whenever we can figure it in our schedule. Uh, But until then, we out. Jesus. Jesus.